Welcome to the Spiritual Life Center Wednesday night guided meditation, where tonight we focus on dealing with change. But first, let's open with prayer. We come together, God, to be lifted up, to be raised up out of the feeling of the problem or challenge to be moved away from that sense of being overwhelmed with life. There is a solution to everything. There is an answer. There is something that I can do. Whatever it is, God, you and I working together can overcome. And so, loving spirit, I call on you and I ask that you be so fully alive in me that I know with certainty that you are flowing through me, that your mighty work is empowering me, and that from that great reservoir, my life responds to be, do, and have all that is my rightful experience, gratefully and in full expectation we receive your gift of life. And so it is. Amen. And we now want to move into the daily word for yesterday, August 3rd, where the topic is guidance. The divine in me knows the way to go. If I ever feel uneasy, wondering which way to turn, or if I'm afraid of making the wrong choice, I simply stay centered in the awareness of the Christ presence within and follow its guidance. When I wonder what my next step might be, I pause. Breathing deeply, I relax. If stress or worry arise, I meet those feelings with understanding and compassion. I call forth the divine guidance that I know is always within me. Soon, I feel fresh ideas start to take shape. Visualizing possible next steps, I begin to see how they can lead me exactly where I need to go. From this space, I discover new confidence and faith as I move forward. I am grateful for the spirit within that guides me along my path. And the scripture is from Psalm 37, 31. The law of their God is in their hearts. Their steps do not slip. And we invite you now to enjoy this music provided by the Young Americans Singing Group that provides two beautiful songs, Lean on Me and We Are the World, following which we will go directly into the meditation. Just call.
comes a time when we heed a certain call and the world must come together as one. Dear God, we turn to you, putting aside all worry, any doubt, every concern and burden, and we allow ourselves to be merely open and willing. We permit ourselves in this moment to be teachable, open to the wonder of life. It doesn't matter what we've done, what we've been through, here and now, we make a decision to allow you, loving spirit, to provide the care and keeping I need in my life. And it all begins with my being open and willing. The Bible states, a new heart will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. I will put my spirit within you. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. And as we begin our time of meditation, I ask you to simply be aware of yourself and your body. Set aside your thoughts, your emotions, what you are thinking and what you are feeling and recognize that right where you are, God is. Right where you are, God is. It's, it's a simple statement to make and we say it often. Do we allow ourselves to feel the power of it? Right where I am, God is. The allness of God is. We continue 
in an awareness of ourselves and we add to it the awareness of God, we notice a change that begins to take place when we take our thought and add God thought to it. When we let God thought become dominant and supreme in our consciousness, things begin to change. Not outside of us in the outer world, but within us. We see that happening in us right now. Right where I am, God is. Feel the power of that thought as it goes deep within you. Right where I am, God is. Perhaps you can feel the invitation of God calling you to be more completely, more deeply aware and alive in that presence that goes beyond all human understanding and explanation. Right where I am, God is. So, we put aside the worries, the doubts, the fears, the anxiety. Jesus told us to get rid of these, and since we have dominion, we do so. We release them, we let them go, and we open ourselves to that which is our natural home, the realm of spirit. This does not require any effort on our part because once the thoughts of fear and guilt, lack and limitation, the excuses, the memory of the past, once these are dismissed, divine thoughts flow very easily into our being. They are spiritual nutrients that our mind hungers for. And we allow them to pour into us like the never-ending stream of good they are. We allow God's love to shower upon us. Not just thinking it into our being, but actually feeling its pure essence fill us. Let's be aware of the joy around us right now the spontaneous life of spirit, we feel now with our heart that all that is, is God. That our life is the life of God. We feel that we are divinely maintained, sustained, inspired, uplifted by the presence of God. We are anointed by the Holy Spirit to release such life energy, such love energy, such joy energy that we feel the quickening of the Spirit right here, right now. We begin to grasp the truth that what God created is magnificent and wonderful, and that what is not magnificent and wonderful God did not create, and God created you. So you are magnificent and wonderful, and you have a mandate from the Spirit to release the splendor of God that is within you. And we become excited about God. We allow ourselves to be fired up by this awareness of the truth of our being. We let this spiritual realization bring forth our passion for life. God has nothing to do with maybe, nothing to do with possibly or could be. We do not have a tentative God. So we must not have a wimpy tentative faith. Our belief, our faith must be bold, filled with conviction. Affirmative, committed, claiming the good we totally expect and desire and deserve. Loving spirit, I observe your perfect order demonstrating all around me. 
As I rely each morning on the sun to transform night into day, I experience your infallible nature. When I notice that I did not knowingly cause my lungs to bring my next breath, nor my blood to circulate, nor my food to digest, nor my body temperature to maintain, nor any of my organs to function. I have trusted you to make all of my environment around me to work perfectly. And I have trusted you to govern my entire physical being, to operate in harmony. Now there's just one area, dear God, that I have not turned over to your care and keeping, and that is my life. Oh, here and there I have, Lord, but I've grown up with the idea that I have to take charge of my life, and paradoxically, it's true. I do, but in order to do so effectively, I must first turn over to you my will and my way and allow you to set my course, to provide my guidance, to light my way. And I do so now, infinite intelligence, loving spirit of God. I make a decision here and now to turn my will and my life over to your perfect care and keeping. I do so with complete faith that your divine will knows exactly where, exactly what, when, who, how, that you have only my best interests in mind that you will make me aware of exactly what I need to do. I believe this with all my heart. And this unburdens me, frees my soul, gives me a real sense of security and provides me a peace that passes all understanding. Dear God, I understand that my growth comes by extending my faith in and trust of you to every area of my life. And so I do ask your help in opening me to express you in identifying my life's purpose through the way in which I carry this out but even more immediately in all my attitudes, in each relationship, through the daily encounters of my life, embracing every thought, each feeling, all circumstance and situation. Let your light shine in and through me. Because it does not matter what you have done it does not matter what you have not done. When you accept the gift of life that God has provided you, you not only accept your past, you embrace it gratefully in the awareness that your past has provided the lessons you needed and has prepared the way for what you are and where you are today which is for every person glorious because you have within you here and now the unlimited opportunity to do what is yours to do. Your light stretches out before you as a great adventure, a marvelous opportunity, a grand promise a future that you are free to mold and shape in partnership with God. The outer appearances cannot hold you back when you set your mind to build a spirit-based life. Jesus said that it is God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And we remind ourselves that Jesus also 
lived in turbulent times. And we embrace the awareness that the power that moved through Jesus to perform healing miracles is the same power that is moving in and through you because there is only one presence and power in the universe. Our spiritual growth is a progression of awareness, of knowing that God as presence and power is, that we can and must call forth that presence and power into our lives, not just allow it to do so, but invoke it, claim it. And when we do, we feel God's presence filling us with strength and renewing our energy and bringing peace to any troubled thoughts we might have, we give ourselves over to spirit. Then we move further into spiritual awareness and claim the goodness and the blessings of God for our world, both for our personal world of prosperity and wholeness and relationships and the wondrous outcomes for our loved ones and also for the world around us, our community, holding each and every person in God's light, seeing peace and well-being and harmony and order reigning. I am willing to take charge of my life. I am willing to grow, to change, to experience the highest and best by turning to the Christ within. I know that the inner is what counts, and I choose to live from within out. I take direction from the source of my being, and I use this guidance to make right choices in my physical and mental being, in business, in relationships, finances, all things that affect my life and the lives of those who are closest to me. I do not succumb to outside pressures, for I know the truth of my being. I know that I am a child of God and that it is God's good pleasure to give me the kingdom. My success and achievement are now measured by new criteria, criteria that withstand the changes of time. I know that change brings forth the impetus to grow. In the midst of change, I may ask, how am I going to handle this? I do so by drawing upon the Spirit of God within me for strength, wisdom, and understanding. And I find this here and now in the silence, in the silence. With my faith grounded in God, I move forth to experience new avenues of good. I am certain that these opportunities are here. I move forward with confidence, even in the midst of all that is unfamiliar. I know that the Spirit of God is ever with me, upholding and sustaining me. Dear God, your promise is that no matter what is happening, you are with me. I accept this truth. And even in the midst of change, God, I know you are with me to bless me as I boldly move forward to new avenues of good. 
for this and for all gifts of life, we say thank you, loving spirit, in the name and through the power and in the nature of Jesus the Christ. And so it is. Amen. Allow yourself this time to slowly come into experiencing the presence around you. Take your time, take a deep breath, become aware of your breathing and your presence. And at this point, we would invite you to join those of us who will be on the Zoom following the service so that we can make a connection and reunite. God bless.